Do you like R&B music? You don't no. think it's interesting, some stuff that you, it, you know. I don't give it a chance. I hear it okay. and I just kind of turn it off. Okay, because but it, it's you not don't the, feel it peeled at all by the. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Do you like R&B music? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I asked the question. Yeah. Some of it, uh, I know what you mean. Like who's it's, like who's It's really shallow sometimes, but I think there are producers who do really great stuff. Yeah, I'm sure, but I haven't like, and maybe it's not. I don't even know if it's shallow. I just don't really listen to it and I'm sure there is really good producers I just don't pay attention mm -hmm. one maybe one of these days but what kind of things uh, uh, did you listen to music today on your own if you're I mean if you're a phone or if you're um, I had my um, computer on in the hotel I listened to uh, this band from Canada called Revenge okay I don't know them what kind of music are they uh, they're kind of like a like very brutal like death metal band Okay. They're really good. Okay. Musically, death metal or metal as a general is, is great, no? Yeah, I think so. Not the all, 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 not all but, but yeah. the precision and the, sometimes the compositions are really great. And then some, sometimes it's really raw and um, incompetent. And they, they, that can be great too. Okay. But there is, yeah, there's a lot of technical precision or whatever in death metal. like to eat most now or do you eat before your concerts um i think we're gonna eat before this concert and mm -hmm. uh sometimes i don't but tonight i will you so that you will yeah but this depends on what oh uh, because uh i had breakfast and that was it today so where did you have breakfast here yeah. in switzerland yeah in the hotel and was it fine it was fine what exactly did you eat a croissant with some raspberry goop in the middle of it mm. this sounds nice only this and coffee and, um, Coffee with milk or without milk? Without. Okay. Do you cook yourself? Yep. I, I can feel that. What is your speciality? Um, I don't really do anything fancy. I kind of improvise when I cook, and it's always I usually use a lot of like hot peppers and stuff like that. Hot? You like spicy and yeah. hot food? Yeah. I, I do too. That's yeah. uh, that's great. Too. But I mean, I don't tackle anything like complex. Like, you know what my favorite thing lately has been just chimichurri sauce. Ah, uh, like in Argentina? Yes. Like yeah. in Buenos Aires. Yes. Have, you been, have you played there as well? No. I uh, was in Brazil last month, but no Where Argentina. Where were you in Brazil? In Sao Paulo and Rio. Did you like Sao Paulo? Yep. Was the, the, the people when the concert were really nice? Yep. Yep. How do you like your audience to be? Uh, Whatever. More I don't like no, uh, no. noisy, enthusiastic, or more like meditative, uh, listening. Both are fine. Both. Yeah, just uh, hopefully they're not super bored or anything. Okay, normally they are, I think. I can't tell sometimes, because sometimes it's, it's the environment that, you know, some people, some environments are like good for hooting and hollering, and then other environments where you're sitting down, it's all very polite and stuff. And but do you, you don't really know what those Do you people... adapt your music to the occasion as no. well? No. But there is a part of your new music you change every time you give a concert, or isn't it? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, like, I'm playing second, mm -hmm. but I already know that guy over there is playing first. Okay. And sometimes if you're playing in a festival or something, and there's like four people playing before you, Mm -hmm. Sometimes I might watch and then figure out maybe because they did something I might do something different. Okay. Not always. But. So you're not very stressed when you're giving a concert. You feel no, enough I'm, to adapt. Well, right I, now are I, you stressed? No, not right now. But no. sometimes I have really bad anxiety for, it. And, and I don't know why. It's 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 totally random. And as soon as you appear on the stage, uh, is this over? Usually it's over because there's no sort of going back. But then you feel really good on stage. 
Okay. Sometimes, sometimes not. Depends on how well it's going. Okay. Because uh, I played in Krakow last week, or a few days ago. Mm-hmm. And um, I got these, I play these electronic boxes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And a couple of them weren't producing sound. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't figure out what the problem was, but I kept on playing. And then I got a little nervous during that. Okay. And then, like, I wasn't, I tried to make some stuff that sounded good. And then, uh... But I was kind of, kind of thinking about why this thing isn't working, what's mm-hmm. going on. And so when it was over, I didn't think it was that great. Some people said it was really good, and I just didn't. Oh, but there were people who thought it was really good. Well, years, I like mean, I'm sure people didn't like it, but like mm-hmm. I heard from people. But are you, you are very critical with, uh, not critical, you are very um, hard with yourself? Very I think so. Very perfectionist so. and very never happy with what you do. And yeah, kind when you of. you put out uh, an album or a disc, you, you tell yourself, oh no. Um, yeah, I put out an album, I think it's great, and then about a month later I just think it's, you know, I don't... And I, then you never that's li- why. And then you never listen to it again? Yeah, you don't listen to it again. Okay. Did you start with death metal or something? I played uh, rock music, guitar. Rock you know, music. played, took it down. Oh, the first song I ever learned was Double Vision by Foreigner. Okay, yes, I know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. still um, play this sometime? I haven't played guitar in like three years, but I used to play pretty regularly, just kind of noodling around. And why don't you play anymore? Um, well, my one guitar that I used to play, uh, the, um, I think uh, the pickups, uh, one of the pickups just died or just mm-hmm. doesn't stop working and then like the nut at the end kind of came off yeah. and I was like oh I'll get this fixed one of these days and it's been three years okay. so is there another concert than yours or a movie you're looking forward to or you're interested in like tonight or this festival yeah, like this festival um Jerome Nottinger who's playing in uh, Megan Keen told, just told me that they're doing this movie that I've been wanting to see for a really long time I'm gonna put you the name but it's Lying destri- describing a cone or cone describing a line. You know, yeah. It's like with fog and a line. I, w- I really want to see that. Okay. And then I saw that they're playing Sweet Movie, mm-hmm. which would, I've, I've always only seen that on the.